Well, we hear thunder, we see lightning, sometimes from miles away. Yeah, it's a phenomenon that lights up the sky, and tonight we want to know how lightning actually forms. Ben, what can you tell us? Well, you know, we've had storms rolling through all week, which means you've seen plenty of it. And staring outside the windows, watching this natural display of lights, you kind of may wonder this exact question. How does it form? Meteorologist Jordan West has the answer. Yes, Ben, it all starts with a cumulonimbus cloud or a tall storm cloud. Storm clouds have an updraft, a strong upward wind that brings water higher into the atmosphere. This water eventually freezes and turns into hail. Hail is more dense than water, so it falls back into the base of the cloud. And as it falls, it collides with some smaller ice particles. This scraping and rubbing gives the hail a negative charge and the smaller ice particles a positive charge. Now the base of the cloud is filled with this negatively charged hail, while the upper portions are filled with positively charged particles. Remember, positive charge and negative charge are attracted to one another, but in the cloud, the density and collisions keep them separated. And because the base of the clouds now have a negative charge, it will attract positive charge from the Earth's surface. And when those positive and negative attractions meet, lightning forms. Here's a photo by Douglas Nuremberger of a lightning strike over Macon. Lightning strikes can be roughly three centimeters wide and up to 30,000 degrees. So as always, when thunder roars, go indoors. I'm meteorologist Jordan West, 13 WMAZ News. Yeah, man, 30,000 degrees. That's hotter than the surface of the sun. Now that's a shocker. Jordan, appreciate all that right there. All right.